TFTV here, B Will. Got my fan side outside Nissan. Y'all see it? Big win for us beating the Bengals, man. I can't say I expected it. I predicted it earlier in the year in the offseason that we beat the Bengals, but going into this game, I was feeling a lot less confident, man. But excellent game by Tim Kelly. Excellent game by Tannehill. Good game by the offensive line. They held up well. Tannehill stood in there, took some licks. This some, did some, made some really good throws. Tighten up. That's what I'm talking about. Tighten up. Uh, Tannehill stood in there. Had some uh, really good throws, big throws for Tannehill. Still worried about his mobility, though. He doesn't look – he doesn't look like Tannehill, man, you know, mobility-wise. To be honest, he looks like he's running with cement in his shoes. I'll be honest with you. But, uh, you know, we don't really need – to. we're not relying on Tannehill to be mobile like that, to run, all that. We just need him to stand in the pocket and be accurate, make accurate throws and be on time with his reads. That's one thing that I was with – I was been harping on Tannehill is, you know, not – It's he's been out of sync with the receivers. You know, we, we'd be running – there was a couple times a day – even though he played an excellent game, and this is going to happen. But, you know, there's times when we have short routes underneath that are there. We've had a bunch of times where there's crossing routes. I remember one with Burks against Cleveland. There was Burks in week one on a crossing route, and Tannehill's rolling left. I don't know why he's rolling left, but still trying, trying to find a way to just flick the ball over to Burks or something on a crossing route. That's what we can do. The defense, man. Defense played exceptionally well. They were flying around the ball. I think they I think they keyed in on Burrow and that, that injury he had. I think it's his ankle injury that he had. He doesn't seem as mobile as he was. And, you know, he wasn't really able to get off the spot today. And we really sent a lot of pressure his way and, you know, forced him to either get that ball out quick or, you know, take the sack. And a lot of times he was taking the sack. Even to stop him from getting all the ball out quick, this is something I really liked what the Titans did. They were playing a lot of – they were pressing in the initially, playing like some off press, off press coverage a little bit. It just gives Burrow to where he doesn't have a free release anywhere across the field and doesn't allow him to just dunk the ball off like like he normally would. Of course, we didn't have to worry about him being as mobile, but we still had to go out there. We still had to execute. We still had to win the game. So big win by the Titans. I'm really excited about what I saw to the defense. Really excited about the offense going forward. They looked really promising. Henry had a really good game. Spears was good when he touched the ball. Hopkins got really involved, and of course, y'all know wide receiver one, Nick Westbrook Aquina, man. I've been I've been championing my boy wide receiver one. You know, Westbrook Aquina is that guy, man, and he always finds a way to get the ball. I don't know what it is about him. He's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, he's not the tallest. Motherfucker's always gonna find a way to get the ball. But uh, but yeah, I was gonna say that Joe Burrow ran off on the plug. I've been saying that for a while. I talked to a good Bengals fan here. He was saying, you know, but he reminded me that Joe Burrow's been hurt. So, with that being said, I can't say Joe Burrow ran off on the plug. He's just playing hurt. Really, with the Bengals, why didn't they just sit him for injury reserve for the first four weeks? They're already 1-3 now. What's the difference between being 1-3 with Joe Burrow or 0-4 without Joe Burrow, having him coming back healthy, firing all, all cylinders in week five? Y'all let me know about that, what y'all think about the Bengals' decision to do that, man. It looks pretty, looks pretty silly looking back on it, but, of course, hindsight's 20-20. But, yeah, this, of course, this is TFTV. B-Will signing out. Appreciate y'all, man.